It is September 15th, 2022, and let me start by saying that I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This information is intended for entertainment and educational purposes only. So the SEC has released uh, FDD data, failure to deliver data, for the second half of August 2022, and uh, let's have a look at it. Uh, as you can see, the second half of August 2022 has been just released. And I like to process this FTD data to look for ape, uh, ape-related stuff because we now have uh, ape showing up, or I believe we will have ape showing up on the FTD on the FTD data because ape started trading on August 22 of 2022. Uh, so I like to process the FTD data with my own code, uh, which is uploaded at GitHub. It's basically just two scripts, a, C a CSH script and a Perl script. But anyway, uh, here's some uh, here's some links to GitHub. Uh, basically, you just go to the link, click code, click download zip, and you get the code. Uh, at that point, I would create a full, uh, uh, I would extract the zip, of course, create a folder called CNS files from the SEC, and put the f and put the SEC zip file in there and extract the zip file from the SEC. So then. Uh, we need one more piece of information, which is um, uh, uh, trading dates. So basically, I just get um, uh, historical price action for um, uh, for 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 ape uh, for the ape ticker symbol, and I get that from Yahoo Finance. And um, you can just click download to to download the historical data. And at that point, you should have uh, three files, right? You should have ape prices, uh, .csv, uh, filter data .csh, and insert zeros ftd dates .pl. So the filter filter ftds .csh and the pl file, they are um, they are script files that were from from GitHub. The CNS files from the SEC. I just happen to keep all of them, uh, so I have a bunch of them. And um, I just added the last one in. It's CNS fails 2022.08b.txt. And of course, we have the ape prices, uh, which include the ape, uh, the the dates that ape were traded. Okay. So the first uh, of the of the two program files. Uh, so so let me start. So once you've got all that done, you want to open up a terminal window and issue two commands, which are listed in blue here. The first command will actually extract and filter the ape data from the CNS fails uh, data from the SEC, and it will create a text file called ape FTDs 2022 underscore aug CSV. The second command, insert zeros, it uh, will actually insert um, zeros for the trading days with no failures so that we can see contiguous days of FTDs, right? And that will create a file called ape FTDs 2022 final underscore CSV, okay? So these are the commands uh, that you would issue in a terminal window. Uh, this is the output you would expect to see. And uh, you'll have these two additional files now. So the only file we really care about is the final CSV. So let's open that one up. And if we look at the final, at the ape FTDs final 2022, we can now see what the failure to delivers are for ape. The first thing I should note is that, uh, um, well, there's a couple things to note. First off, it looks like uh, dividend failures are not shown uh, because there were a lot of failures uh, to receive dividends on the 22nd when dividends were, were first supposed to appear. Uh, and the first recorded failure is on 824. Okay, the first trading day was 8.22. So if we look at, um, at AMC prices and the AMC volumes, a couple of things to note additionally. We see that on 8.24, which was the first failure day, uh, there are more failures than there are actual volume on 8.24. Okay, so what does that mean? Basically, it's the same for the next two days as well too, right? There's more v failures than there are volume of, of, stop, of shares traded. Why is that? probably because we're looking at a T plus two settlement. So that means that we, uh, we need to offset by two days. Okay, so once we offset by two days, uh, 
we can see that what failures were associated with what trading day. Okay. We know that on the very first day, there were a ton of, um, um, a, a, a ton of buys which outstripped sells in terms of, uh, you know, at least, at least on the Fidelity website, it was the number one uh, traded stock on 822. There were almost 15,000 buy orders and 3,500, about 3,500 sell orders, okay? We also know that on the first trading day, there were about 10 trading halts. And on the second day, and on the second trading day, day, there were about three trading halts. So as a result, now that we've put all this stuff together, uh, I'm guessing and I believe that very likely all the FTDs are a result of naked shorting of Ape shares. Why do I say this? Because basically the public bought and market makers could not deliver Ape shares. So basically they naked shorted Ape shares at that point. So naked shorting came into existence for Ape shares, okay? So I'm just gonna put the fails into another column, create an another column for Ape prices and put fails in there. And I'll put another column for percentage of volume. So now we can see how much percentage of volume the fails represented and the with the fails being naked shorted, right? We see that on the first trading day with 10 trading halts, 35% of the volume was basically naked shorting. On the second trading day, where there were three, three trading, trading halts, 37% of the volume was again naked shorting. On the third trading day, Almost 70% of the volume was pure naked shorting. That's insane. So we now have an idea of how much naked shorting is going on with ape shares and, and how much naked shorting there likely is going on with, with AMC shares as well. Okay. Now, I've taken all this data and this, these slides and the spreadsheet and I put it all into GitHub. So if you want, you can download this. You don't have to go through the same exact exercise that I did. I put the results all up there. Just click on code, go to the web, I mean, go to the link, click on code, click download zip, and you'll have all this data, right? And um, it's uh, all the spreadsheets are in a file called um, Ape FTDs from SEC. So the, um, I'm sorry, the spreadsheets are in a file called Ape FTDs 2022 with Ape prices, um, and that's the that's got got the combination of the FTDs with the. It's got the combination of the FTDs with the. Uh, with the price action, that goes on every day, and um, this entire set of slides is in a is in a PDF document called Ape FTDs from SEC.PDF. So with that, I just wanted to say. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This information is intended for entertainment and educational purposes only. The date of this video is uh, September 15th, 2022. Goodbye.